Hello there, guys. Wherever you're watching around the world, it's Mr. Maximo here, Vinny Sandu for the European Cricket Network with another match preview for a European Cricket Series match. And, of course, this week we're in Rome and it's day four of the seven-day tournament. This is a preview of match 10, which is between Roma CC and Gina Brescia. It's the second match of Thursday, the 3rd of September, and will begin at 10 a.m. GMT, which is noon Central European Standard Time. It's 3.30 p.m. in India. And, as always, you can catch the action right here on the European Cricket Network, whether that's through our website, ecn.cricket or our YouTube channel ECN European Cricket Network. If you're in India, you can catch it on fan code. And as I always say, there's so much happening in the world of European cricket. So why don't you follow us on social media? You can follow us at European Cricket or you can follow me at Mr. Maximo. Of course, it's always great to get so many nice messages from everybody, whether my predictions work out or not, because lots of people around the world are enjoying the European Cricket Series. It's a different kind of cricket. It's fast paced. There's lots of games in a day and it's plenty of action every day on ECN. That is for sure. If you're enjoying these match preview videos, please leave leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you leave a comment in this video, I'll get back to as many as I can. Let's have a look at what's coming your way on Thursday. It's day four, but it's really only the third day of action because we did lose Monday to rain. You can see that now all the matches from Monday have been rescheduled. And now that the new schedule is set in Roman marble, uh, we have actually reallocated the match numbers. So this is match 10. It was originally, I think, match 13. You can see that the fourth match of the day is between Brescia CC and Rome Bangla. That was previously match three from Monday. So it's great that we have all matches taking place. We should get 25 matches in Rome, weather permitting for all the latest fixtures and scores and the stats on the players and teams. Make sure you visit our website, www.e cn.cricket to get the most up-to-date information. Well then, let's get straight into this preview. And both these two teams have a chance to top Group B. Roma CC will be led by their captain Prabath Ekneligoda with Sujith Rilagadagi to be behind the stumps from them. Their captain Prabath is a very interesting character. He's 51 years of age. He's not only their captain, but also their coach. He's got 27 years of cricket experience in Italy. In that time, he's scored 18 centuries and he's a former national team player. But even he, at 51, would have never experienced anything Thing quite like the European Cricket Series, that's for sure. Gina Brescia, they'll be led once again by their captain, Ahmed Ruksa, and Hazard Ahmed has taken over the wicket-keeping duties for them. Let's talk a little bit about these two teams. Well, Roma CC, they won both of their matches on Wednesday quite convincingly against Kings Eleven and Kent Lanka. So sit at the top of Group B, but they will face a much sterner test against the dangerous Gina Brescia team. Gina Brescia, well, a lot of people had them as favourites for the trophy at the start of the week, but they did suffer a shock loss to Bergamo in their opening match on Tuesday. Since then, they have steadied themselves with two wins. But with this being their last group match, it's their final chance to pick up the win they need that will guarantee them a spot on Super Sunday, where the top four teams will play off for the trophy in Rome. So they'll be without the services of Mohamed Imran, their all-rounder who is out with injury. And I think it's very interesting in Group B because there's three good sides. I think these two and Bergamo, and they're competing for only two places in the semifinals. Let's have a look then at Mr. Maximo's 11 to watch and hopefully you find this information useful. Beginning with Roma CC, I have super highlighted their batsman, Dinidu Maragi. Now, he will open the batting and he can also bowl some pretty handy left arm spin. He's actually picked up five wickets in the first two matches. He hasn't scored that many runs just yet, although we've seen a couple of shots that demonstrate his power. So I bet he would love to make a big score in this match. I've also highlighted some other players for Roma, including the keeper, Sujith Rilla Gudagi. Well, Rilla might be 45 years of age, but he showed yesterday he can still hit a cricket ball as well as doing a pretty tidy job behind the stumps. He's a former national player of both Qatar 
Kent Lanka. I've also got a batsman there in Navod Kalan Surya. He'll bat three. He made a pretty entertaining 30 not out of only 15 balls against Kings 11, guiding his team home. I put a shadow player in there, so he's not quite in my 11 to watch, but I did consider him in Shamira Karupu. Now he can bowl some off spin. In the end, I leaned towards Kalan Surya narrowly, but it was a toss up between those two. So you can pick who you like out of those two as far as a batting option. I've also got an all-rounder for Roma CC in Christian Kalugamagi. Uh, he was fairly tight in taking the new ball in their first two matches. And finally for them, I've got Kieran Gunning, who will open the bowling for them, and he's good for some late order hitting. He was man of the match in their first game against Kings Eleven, turning in a performance of 2 for 13 off his two overs, as well as 17 not out off seven balls, batting down at number eight for Gina Brescia, and there's quite a few familiar names in this lineup. If you've been following the cricket on ECN, I have super highlighted their all-rounder, Muhammad Jaffrey. Now, this guy can really bully the game at the top of the order, although we haven't really seen him put it all together just yet. We did see in the ECL a year ago what a class player he is, so I'm sure he'd be keen to have a big game in this which is, of course, their final group match. I've also highlighted some other players for Jinnah, including Hassan Ahmed, who we saw back wicket-keeping in the last couple of matches. Now, this left-hander can be explosive. I don't think we've seen the best of him in this tournament just yet. And, of course, we saw him previously in the European Cricket Series playing for Zurich Nomads in Switzerland, where he put in some really good performances, as well as Jandrua Brescia in last year's ECL. I've got a shadow there for Hassan in Nisa Ahmed. Uh, he will open the batting. And between those two, it was pretty close. But I just leaned to Hassan Ahmed because of the X factor that he provides. I think that he will have a breakout game at some stage. I've also got a batting option there in Anwar Atik, who will bat three and probably bowl in the middle overs as well. I've got another all-rounder in Mohamed Iqbal. Now, the leg spinner. Bali, he looked a bit rusty in early in the series, but since he's found his rhythm, he's been pretty difficult to play. When he gets it right, he is a tough customer for the batsman, but he does have to get his lines and lengths right. I've got bowlers there finally for Jinnah in the captain, Ahmed Ruksa, as well as Malik Mushtaq, the wild thing. Now, this guy has lived up to expectations. He's a left-arm fast bowler that attacks the stumps. I really enjoy watching him bowl, and he actually hasn't been that wild because he he has been one of their most economical bowlers as well. So watch out for him. He's a really dangerous uh, option with them with the new ball, and he does take wickets. Well, let's get to prediction time. And yesterday, I did tip a bit of an upset. I tipped Brescia CC to beat Jandra Brescia and uh, looked a bit dicey early. Brescia CC ended up posting 131, thanks to incredible century from Shannon Khan, who scored 103 out of their 131 runs. But in the end, it wasn't enough, and Jandra chased it down in the last over. And I've said this before, I don't mind my predictions being wrong as long as the cricket is good and as long as we get competitive matches. Nobody likes seeing one-sided matches. And that game, I really thought Brescia CC had done enough, but I think they let themselves down with their bowling. I think they bowled too many full tosses and they didn't use the pitch enough uh, when they were defending that score of 130. So Jandra are now unbeaten and they're the top of Group A and they'd have to be right up there uh, in favouritism for the tournament this week. So this will be a very interesting game between these two teams. Like I said, there's three teams, I think, competing for two spots. I think these two teams and also uh, Bergamo, who are pretty impressive when we saw them in the tournament already. Uh, so it'll be a really close game, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, thanks again for all the nice comments that I do get. Uh, often people do point out when I get them wrong. I, I do remind them that I have over 75% right so far. I think we're into, uh, I think this is show number 91. But uh, it's all about giving you the information you need, and I would encourage you to visit the website, ecn.cricket, as another source of information if you are playing some fantasy cricket or you just want to find out a little bit more about these teams and players. So in this game, Roma CC unbeaten, Gina Brescia, they are two wins and one loss. My prediction for match 10 is Gina Brescia to win. I think the loss wasn't actually quite a, a very bad thing for them in their first match. It might have woken them up at least to know that they are going to have to play some good cricket to make it all the way to the end of the European Cricket Series in Rome this week. So I think Gina Brescia are on the up and up. I think they've still got another gear and they might find it in their final group match. And I put Muhammad Jaffrey to have a good game and be their star player. 
And Muhammad Jaffrey still hasn't taken a wicket. That surprises me. I think it's a matter of time uh, until he really gets going and he'll be a very influential player this week. So we hope you enjoy the game here on the European Cricket Network. Just a final reminder to follow us on social media if you don't already. Follow us at, Miss, at uh, European Cricket or follow me at Mr. Maximo. But for now, this is Vinny Sandu for ECN saying enjoy the game. We'll see you next time on European Cricket.